come down here today. It's incredible to see you all. And we're sending a really, really strong message to the government of Ireland and Northern Ireland that they need to act now to repeal the aid and decriminalise abortion across the whole island of Ireland. Okay. If you look behind me, you'll see 205,704 chalk marks for every single woman who has travelled from Ireland and Northern Ireland to Britain for an abortion since 1983. If this number makes you angry, then join us. What do we want? Repeal the eight! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Repeal the eight! When do we want it? Now! I have always like marched whether I'm at home in Ireland or I'm in London, so it's really great to see like marches and like solidarity protests going on all around the world. You have to get involved and show your support and that's why even here today looking around there's so many men and that's really important because it shows that that support network is there. There was a real mix of people here today and I think one of the biggest turnouts that we've ever had for one of our actions makes me really proud that uh, British people and are now standing in solidarity with Irish and Northern Irish women. What does the referendum next year mean to you? I think it's huge. I think we've spent a really long time like begging for a referendum. So obviously the gay marriage referendum was done so well in Ireland, um, but that was kind of fought on the basis of love and all these kind of nice, fuzzy, warm feelings and brilliant marketing. And I think a lot of those things are quite hard to pull off when you're talking about abortion. By having these laws in place that prevent people from traveling, all you're doing is taking away their dignity. It's a class issue. Like rich people have the luxury of traveling and poor, poor people are the ones who are punished. And I th that the frustrating thing is if you actually look into the facts on the ground of what's happening, I, don't, I just don't understand how you can really argue that we shouldn't give people the choice. I think it's about time that it would happen. I'm not sure what the conditions are going to be for that referendum, if the Eighth Amendment will be repealed in its entirety or if there will be something that will be replaced that will be equally as restrictive. It's always a difficult, fraught time during a referendum, but it can mean that interesting stories are shared, good conversations are had and mindsets are changed and that can be a really positive attitude to enter a referendum with. So I think, uh, I think it's going to be an interesting challenging time for the country but I believe that the country does support choice, it does. It's just about making sure that those voices are heard and making sure that the referendum is passed and that women have autonomy.